Okay, so this is a demonstration video about how to draw with charcoal. Okay, what you will need to do this is you might need a pencil, which is a regular graphite pencil. Um, you might need an eraser. You'll need a, like a kneaded eraser, definitely. You'll need a blending stump. Okay, and then I have various types of charcoal, and I'll explain what these are in just a minute. So this is called a charcoal stick. These are willows, charcoal willows. They're real thin and um, soft and brittle a little bit. This is a white charcoal stick, so this one's black, and this is white. Okay, and then I have charcoal pencils. So this is just your black charcoal in pencil form and this is a white charcoal in pencil form. Okay, And you'll be using, um, probably be using all of these when you draw a charcoal um, just depending on what you want to achieve. So I'm going to just move these off first. So before I get started um, I want to show you an example of a drawing with charcoal. So this is just a drawing that I found in my classroom Somebody must have made it to uh, as an example. It's fairly simple. You know, you got just your bottle with, uh, you know, light coming from one side and a shadow on the next. Okay. Um, the difference between charcoal and graphite, or your regular pencil, is um, charcoal is much softer than graphite. Um, Charcoal is actually made from charred wood, so you know that's probably how they make them in the in uh, factories. They have like a giant wood stump, they light it on fire, and then you know if you've ever had a bonfire, you know burnt wood in your fireplace, there would be this bunch of little ash, and maybe a little bit of the wood is still um, you know left in the fireplace, so it's kind of black and. Uh, crunchy, I guess, or brittle, okay, and they'll compress it all into something like this, okay. Graphite is an actual mineral that you can find in the ground, okay. Um, it's kind of like all these different kinds of rocks you can find in the ground, okay. So that's the difference between charcoal and graphite. Graphite is a mineral and charcoal is made from wood, okay. And there are different types of charcoal. Just like in the beginning, there are these four different ones that I'm going to show you. Um, they all kind of work the same. It's not like they work any differently. It's just uh, <coughs> the... I guess it all just depends on how precise you want to be with your drawing. Okay. So first I'm going to show you how to draw with a charcoal pencil. <coughs> Some of these... Um, some of the black charcoal pencils will look like this, like an actual part, uh, pencil that you could sharpen. But ones that I have in my classroom are like this. Basically, um, what you do is you can draw, so I'm just going to draw a little bit with it. Now this doesn't have a sharp point like um, graphite does. So like if I took my pencil and I drew right here, you can see it's just a line. Charcoal will spread out more. So once you get down to this little edge right here, what you need to do to get more charcoal is pull this string. And if you don't have a string, you need to come ask me about it. So I'm just going to pull it a little bit, that's probably far enough. And what, will, what you'll do is you'll actually take this little piece of paper and peel it off. Okay, and you just go around until you get up high to the tip. When you peel the paper off, it just exposes more of that charcoal that's within this stick. It's actually kind of fun to take this off, but don't don't just play with it and take all the paper off because that's just going to make it harder to draw with. Okay, so this is a charcoal pencil. I'm going to 
throw this away real quick. <clears throat> the next type of charcoal is a willow, and that's what this thin little tiny piece of charcoal is. It's a little lighter than this. I think there's more space in between um, the little particles of uh, charred wood. So it comes out lighter. So let me show you the difference. So this one is more gray, while the pencil is more of a black color. Okay. Um, charcoal is really soft. Whenever we um, get to the blending section of this video, I'll show you um, the difference maybe between blending a pencil, just regular graphic pencil, compared to charcoal. Okay, so that's a willow. This will be good for like your middle values, your mid-tones. Okay. The last type of black, uh, black charcoal that I'm going to show you is a charcoal stick. These are good for spreading out on uh, big areas. Um, I don't have enough room to, to shade on the side, so I'm just going to use the tip of this. You could technically just draw with this. But I think having the variety makes it easier to draw a variety of um, charcoal tools. So this one's almost looks almost exactly like the pencil, the black charcoal pencil. Okay, the last type of charcoal that I have is white charcoal. Obviously, white is the opposite of black. I'm just cleaning the tip because it's a little dark. When I draw on white paper with this, you can't even see it. It's white. When you color white on top of white, it's always going to be white and you will not see it. What you need to do is, I'll use this one, is you can spread out a little bit of uh, black, black charcoal on the paper. Maybe I'll blend it a little bit. That's good. Okay. After you have your black charcoal spread out, you can use your white charcoal to draw on top of. So maybe if I want to just say hi. Now you can see it. Okay. White charcoal is good to use on black paper. Um, also, when you're drawing something, it'll, it's nice to use for reflections because if you shade it too darkly, you can go over with white charcoal to make it look lighter. Because, okay, so white charcoal only works on something that has uh, a dark background, okay? So now I'm going to show you how to blend with it. It's pretty much the same as blending, as with, blending with uh, graphite. In the first one, I'm going to show you the difference between um, blending. Well, first one, I'm just going to show you what what it looks like when you're just um, drawing normally. Okay, and you're not going to blend with your finger or a blending stump. Now, charcoal will show you more of what the paper looks like, all the bumps and. Uh, grooves the paper look like. It all kind of depends on what you like. So if you like the bumps of the paper, don't blend with your finger or with a blending stump. If you don't like it, I would definitely blend with a blending stump for your finger. Okay. So that's just regular blending without any extra steps. Okay. In this one, I'll show you the difference of blending with a blending stump with for your uh, charcoal and then your graphite because I'm pretty sure I believe that the charcoal will spread out more and be more smooth. So I'm just going to put some of this down right here. And I'm going to do graphite in the other side. So I'm going to do the charcoal first. And just like um, in my graphite 
I'm drawing with graphite uh, video, you want to do tight little circles while you're blending. You could go back and forth, but I think it, it's smoother when you do uh, just little circles. You can go over what you missed. Okay, that looks good. Okay, now I'm going to do the graphite. Let's see if there's much of a difference. Now obviously the graphite is lighter. Now I actually think the graphite looks a little better smooth this, smooth this wise. I feel like the charcoal, you can see the paper a little more. But you can see you can see the difference. So charcoal is obviously a lot darker than uh, graphite. Okay, and then in this last one, I'm just going to show you how to smooth or blend your charcoal with your finger, and then with a tissue paper or a piece of tissue. These are both messy, and charcoal gets on your fingers even more. Than graphite does. Okay. But it spreads a lot easier. Okay, and then when you're using a tissue, just wrap it around your finger. This tissue will erase a little bit of the charcoal. So if you want it to be darker, you're going to add more layers of charcoal as you go. Okay. In this last section, I'm going to show you how to create a value scale with charcoal. A value scale is a tool to help you compare values in a source image. Uh, just get a gauge of how light and how dark um, a medium and art can get. So a medium is just like your tool, so pencil or graphite, well not, a graphite pencil or charcoal, okay? So I always leave this first square blank. This is always going to be your lightest value. Number one is always your lightest value. Your darkest value is going to be however many you're going up to. So mine is a value scale of six. You could have a value scale of nine, ten, twenty. You can go to a hundred if you really wanted to. Um, but I'm just going up to six. So what I'm going to do, I'm, I'm going to use my charcoal pencil for this because I think it'll work much better than the other things, is I'm just going to lay down charcoal into box six. Now if you see this white mark right there. That's kind of where I drew on the paper and before and I erased. Um, when you use charcoal you're going to get these little grooves if you um, mess up on drawing something you press down hard. You just need a ton more charcoal over it to cover those lines hopefully. Okay, I'm going to just blend this out. Charcoal is sort of like chalk, and there's a little fine powder that kind of lays over the top of your drawing. The best way to deal with that is to take your paper and just tap it on the side, and it should fall right off. If that doesn't work, I would just take like a tissue and kind of dab at your paper and pick up the extra charcoal. Okay, so there's my uh, darkest value. I'm going to go to my next um, box and do the second darkest value or the, you know, go a little lighter. When you do your value scale, using a um, kneaded eraser will come in handy because um, Charcoal can get a lot darker than um, 
graphite in that it will uh, it'll be harder to um, get the value that you really want. So I'm going to blend this again. That looks good. Okay, I'm going to go to this one. Now I like barely put any charcoal on this layer and it's already super dark. It's I think it's the right value, but in my next square I'm gonna have trouble keeping it light and you'll see. So I'm gonna take this I'm gonna like barely, barely touch my paper. Let's see what happens. looks okay. We'll see what the two looks like. I'll probably have to fix it. Oh, yeah, I can tell my two is a lot darker than I want it to be. Okay, if it's darker than you want it to be, just take your kneaded eraser. I'm going to make it into a little tip or a little pencil, sort of. And then you're just going to tap your paper, or you could go across like this and lighten it up. Okay, I think that looks okay. Maybe the three needs to be darker a little bit. Um, you might have some charcoal residue left on your blending stump. I would use this for light um, values because you'll still be able to make some marks on the paper. Okay, so that's how you create a value scale with charcoal. Okay, so in this video you learned about the different types of charcoal, what charcoal is, the differences between the types of charcoal, how to blend with charcoal, and how to create a value scale. Good luck on working with charcoal.